told, without the 2008 bailout, the U.S. was possibly days away from a complete meltdown. Despite that, you still voted against it. As president, would you stand by your principles if it risked the country's financial stability? Well, I remember that meeting very well. I remember it like it was yesterday. Hank Paulson, Bernanke came in and they said, guys, the economy is going to collapse because Wall Street is going under. It's going to take the economy with them. And you know what I said to Hank Paulson? I said, Hank, your guys, you come from Goldman Sachs, your millionaire and billionaire friends caused this problem. How about a millionaire and billionaire fans paying for the bailout? Not working families in this country. So to answer your question, no, I would not have let the economy collapse. But it was wrong to ask the middle class to bail out Wall Street. And by the way, I want Wall Street now to help kids in this country go to college, public colleges and universities free with a Wall Street speculation. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But Senator Webb, I want to get you. And you have said neither party has the guts to take on Wall Street. Is the system rigged? There is a reality that I think we all need to recognize with respect to the power of the financial sector. And let me just go back a minute and say that on this TARP program, um, I introduced a piece of legislation calling for a windfall profits tax on the executives of any of these companies that got more than $5 billion, that it was time for them, once they got their their compensation and their bonus, to split the rest of the money they made with the the nurses and the truck drivers and the soldiers uh, who bailed them out. Um, With respect to the financial sector. I mean, I know that my time's run out, but I mean, I, in speaking of changing positions on the positions on how this debate's occurred, it's kind of frustrating because unless somebody mentions my name, I can't get into the discussion. You agreed to these so, rules uh, and you're wasting time. So well, if you would finish your right, answer, well, we'll I'm, I am, uh, I'm, I'm trying to set a mark here so maybe we can get into a little more later on. This isn't been equal, equal time. Um, but if you want to look at what's happened, if we look at the facts in terms of how we're going to deal with this, Since that crash, in the last 10 years, the amount of the world's capital economy that Wall Street manages has gone from 44% to 55%. That means the Wall Street money managers are not risking themselves as the same way the American people are when they're going to get their compensation. They're managing money from all over the world. Thank you. We have to take that into consideration when we're looking at uh, ways to regulate it. Governor Chafee, you've